Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode of the G-Shock Watcher, we've got some fiery orange G-Shocks. We have some animal infused G-Shocks and we have some incredible prices on some MTGs. Let's go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the G-Shock Watcher. My name is Matthew Hardman coming to you from Singapore on a Sunday afternoon. I have my Cherry Cosmopolitan and we are ready to go check out some watches. Before we do, I certainly want to just give you an update in terms of some of the watches that we've actually purchased. I've been wearing them for a while and I wanted to show them off to you. Okay, so we'll have to do something about the lighting and the shadows at some point, but we're not professionals here. Um, what we've got, as I said to you, some of these watches that I purchased, this is the one I kind of like. This is a MTG G-Shock. This is the first generation MTG G-Shock, right? And so this one, I just got fixed up on the band, so it actually fits nicely. Um, it's a very cool looking watch. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit more, um, but as a first generation watch, it's not too bad. Like it's, this is really the first MTG, and you should see the, the graph actually on there in terms of the shock protection it actually offers, which I think is, is kind of unique. Um, it's a nice piece of history. Um, the other watch I bought was a digital square. As you can sort of see, it's all white. This hasn't been changed since I got it. The band's actually looking really good. The watch is actually looking pretty clean. Um, what I might look at trying to do at some point is perhaps change out the band because not that the white band is bad, but you have a nice watch face of the inverted, uh, inver inverted colors. And so that might go nice on a darker band if you want to hold dark things. So, not a terrible watch. The other one that I got, uh, and this one I have modded a little bit more, was the black and orange one. And I, when I posted this one on Reddit, people really liked this one because of the actual unique color, the, the black and the orange. So you've got the orange on the case, you've got the orange around the actual face as well, and a little bit of purple in the solar cells there. And I had modded this to actually have the adapter for this strap. Um, so, not bad. So overall, you know, we've sort of got one, two, three watches that have come from the uh, Bai website. Actually, not too bad. You know, I'm pretty happy with what I've purchased so far. The wife might be a little bit angry about the purchasing, but it hasn't been terribly expensive. Now we'll come back to that MTG one a little bit later, but let's get rocking into some watches. And I've done something a little bit different rather than uh, aimlessly wander around the actual buy website. I've got some watches which are preempted that I think are really interesting to go and look at. The first one, which is this Casio G-Shock. It's called a Casio Military. I haven't really sort of seen this before, but it's not a bad looking watch. Like if you have a look at this thing, very, in your face orange you know if you look at the the face you know it's got a nice black orange combination certainly goes very well if you're wearing an orange and black top i guess um, matching band looks fantastic currently going for about 80 dollars sing now if we look at the history behind this one on shock base what we sort of find is that this watch would typically go for around about 209 dollars sing it's got carbon core guard so pretty powerful sort of watch it doesn't look like it's got solar or bluetooth um, so you are basically looking at a watch which is it looks good it looks striking but it doesn't necessarily have all of the typical features that we would sort of look for i mean i typically look for those sorts of solar watches but hey if you wanted something that was fairly striking uh, and had an interesting history behind the engineering. This uh, this G-Shock is not such a bad one to go for. The website talks about it being a Casio military watch. I'm not too sure if that's really a military watch, but it certainly has a very interesting look about it. So at $80 right now, one day to go, 85 bids. Obviously lots of people are checking it out, so uh, worth having a bit of a look. The second watch, 
which is interesting. We talked a little bit uh, in a short this week about the uh, Borneo Rainbow Toad. This is also a, another Frogman, which has on it this really interesting, uh, I guess you would sort of say, feature set. It's not as rainbow oriented, but what it is, is sort of stripes. When you have a look at this on, uh, on Shock Base, what we see is this is actually a Frogman, and I think they call it the Poison Dart Frog Edition. So the Poison Dart Frog Edition, very striking looking watch when you actually look at this. Uh, you know, this is it at, uh, at night, I guess. If we have a look at the, some of the branding behind it, it's a pretty awesome watch. I mean, this is, this is one, look, I'm pretty loud as it is. I wouldn't mind going and actually wearing this sort of a watch. Uh, the Frogmans are really nice watches. You know, if we go back and, uh, and have a look at this, you know, it has carbon core guard, which means very, very tough, magnetic resistance, tough MVT. I mean, even I haven't looked at these features, but it has Bluetooth, it has solar, it has multi-band six. The price of this watch went for $1,699 sing. Right now on Bai, it's at $900. So that's a little bit over uh, 50% of the actual price, but still uh, somewhat limited edition. Came out in January 2023, so it's just over a year old uh, at about 60% of the price. 207 bids on this thing. Uh, if we go back and have a look at uh, G Central and sort of get an understanding of the history, uh, limited edition G-Shock Frogman based on the South American poison dart frog that inhibits the Amazon. So, pretty, uh, pretty full-on watch. Um, very nice looking. Got that clear and poison dart looking watch. Beautiful Frogman logo. I mean, I like it. It's a, uh, it's an interesting watch. Uh, Nine hundred dollars. You know, it is unique. It's limited. So something to go and check out. Uh, the next watch which we would look at, and I guess this is in comparison, is the actual Frogman itself, right? So if we look at those two watches, this one is $900. The sort of core Frogman, Master of G Frogman, is auctioning for about $200. Now this is a pretty good price. It's a pretty good looking watch too. Like it's fairly solid, it's fairly chunky, um, a little damaged dirty. I can't sort of see really where it's sort of damaged. Maybe it's got some of the scratches on it. it. Probably just needs a bit of a clean, but I guess if you wanted that worn in look, this would probably look pretty cool. Uh, those MRGs, uh, let's have a look. Well, it's not an MRG, right? It's a Frogman, Master of G. Uh, if we switch over to Shock Base, this one goes for about close to $1,200. And this is at 200. So it's like, well, my math is terrible, 15% of the price. There are four days to go, obviously. Four days to go on this particular auction. So I would no doubt we'll see this price skyrocket up. Um, but it is the evolution, or is the foundation of these sorts of watches. This is the Frogman 30th anniversary, $900. The $200 variant, but the price typically is nearly $1,200. These watches are interesting because these watches can go up to an incredible price. So as an example, that's jumping ahead. If we have a look at Shockbase and check out this guy. So this is an MRG Frogman. Straight away, you know, MRG is going to cost a lot more. This one goes for almost $10,000. I will not lie to you. I would love to own this watch. This watch is spectacular. Uh, it's got those nice sort of bright yellow against that gunmetal grey. I just think the colours look fantastic. Has all the features, Bluetooth, Tusk Solar, Multiband 6. It is a glorious, glorious watch. It's little brother, the MRG BF1000R, goes for, well no Singapore price, but that's probably about close to 6,000 as an MRG, but this guy, this one is a meaty $10,000. And so if you look at the comparison of this watch 
compared to this one. This is the the sort of heritage between them. These pro these watches can go all the way up when they start becoming limited, like these ones. So, you know what? At two hundred dollars right now, yes, the price is definitely going to go up. But something you might want to be able to go and watch for. This is actually very cool. Going from our poison dart toad from the Amazon or poison dart frog. I came across this watch. This one's really interesting. It's a snake watch. Uh, I don't know what you would actually call it. I had to do some research on this one on uh, on G Central to sort of find out more about it. Um, it is basically in this series, the Earthwatch Rangeman and Wildlife Promising G-Shock watches. So the Cassowary African Rock Python, which I'm guessing that's what it is. What they're showing here, this one here, is an MTG. I would love to go ahead and, and get an MTG. I mean, if you look at the evolution of some of these MTGs, for example, let me show you these. This is this is something that I bought in Japan. I saw this second hand. This is an MTG carbon watch. You can see a nice carbon fiber on the, uh, on the edges there. Um, very, very cool watch that uh, you can sort of own. This came from this history. I remember we, at the beginning we talked about this particular MTG, right? So you can actually see the, the history of that particular watch there. This is how it started. This is how it actually looked. And interesting when you see these guys side by side, how much bigger the watch faces are actually getting there. Um, so they go from that sort of pure analog look to something which is still analog but certainly they're packing in the features to these watches and they just look super cool you know carbon core guard nice nice bracelet i really like the lines on the, the top here the let's see if i get that to focus the actual red lines layering on top it's a very cool looking watch and of course these mtgs similar to the mrgs that we sort of talked about before they start getting into some special edition territory. And this is one that my wife probably grudgingly allowed me to own. Uh, this is the Dragon Edition MTG. Very, very gold, very red, uh, very particular for this part of the year. In 2024 is the year of the dragon. Uh, and you can sort of see the dragon on the back there. Um, a bit more limited, but really, really nice watch. And so, these MTG watches, they do really start to represent some interesting, let me try and move them across here, some interesting aspects of engineering of the, uh, the G-Shocks. You know, these are very, very cool watches, but the MTG is not available right now, right? So we need to sort of go down and have a look. This was the Cassowary range man, which definitely has Cassowary colors. Like if you look at what a cassowary is, like let's cassowary, right? You can see those those colours coming through on those birds, right? The blues, the reds, very very clearly coming through on that one. And then the watch here, this is the one we're looking at, right? The GST B three hundred WLP one A. Not a bad looking watch. Again, pretty bold. Uh, it's got the snake skin, the copper. What's interesting about this one I sort of find is that the the uh, uh, digital displays at the top, typically we see them at the bottom, but this one's actually sitting at the top. It's not a bad looking watch, it's fairly unique. You'd be fairly bold to go and wear it. I mean, I would love this one. This MTG uh, snake skin watch, this looks so wrong that my wife would hate me for it, but it would be absolutely beautiful. And unfortunately, it's not there on the site, but this one is. And this one is going for $88. Now, when this one came out, the price of it, I don't have it on the G Central site, but I got it on G Shock, uh, on the Shock Base. This one goes for 61,000 yen. So that would be around about $600. And the price right now on Buy is about $90. So, you know, not too bad. I mean, maybe somebody didn't kind of like the gaudiness of it, but I think it's a fairly 
glorious looking watch. Very cool, very cool. Let's switch over. The MTGs, you know what? You know I love the MTGs. This is a great MTG. $160 for an MTG watch, right? So the MTG B1000 BD. Uh, this watch is, you know, it's an MTG. It's gonna cost money. So this watch, if we have a look at that in shock base, goes for about $1,400 sing. And the price right now is $160. Again, the price is gonna go up for sure. I mean, look at this thing. This is really nice. The blacks, the blues, some scratching up here, which might come through. It still looks nice. It's just, if that scratching really is there, it might turn you off from the MTG. You know, I try to take care of the MTGs I actually have. Yeah, it looks like there's some scratching. So that could be why the price is a little bit lower. But hey, it's an MTG. It goes for $1,400. But if you wanted to try a solid MTG with a solid bracelet, I mean, not bad if you wanted to go check it out. It's a it's a nice, nice sort of watch. It has all the, the features, right? Bluetooth, Tus Solar, Multiband 6, October 2018. So not a bad not a bad watch. Last one, the other MTG I came across. This is kind of cool. I, this is a fairly more bold one with a camo, a camo view on the actual band. It's an MTG. What this is, is an MTG B1000 DCM. Okay, now this guy came out and at the price of 145,000 yen, which probably means it's about one and a half or $1,400 sing. And the current price for this one is $328. So it's probably about a third of the price right now. But still, a very, very cool uh, watch to check out. It's got two days remaining on the actual price. Uh, but that, I mean, obviously that price is going to go up a little bit more. So, very, very cool watch. You know, it's it's different, it's unique. Um, I don't think it's actually limited by any means. It's an MTG, it's a nice watch. I mean, let's have a look. If we go and do a, I am gonna do a bit of a random search here. Let's go over to G Central and have a look at G Central, what they have on this one if they have anything on it. Here we go, the G-Shock MTG with metal camouflage pattern. Uh, it's the first Bluetooth connected MTG model. Okay, interesting. So from a bit of a history point of view, it's the first one. Came out at a price of $1,200. Laser engraved camouflage pattern on a full titanium G-Shock. So, pretty uh, pretty solid watch. I mean, if you're looking for something very, very unique, this is probably the watch to go and look for. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting watches. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen our bright orange watches that are military watches. Looks kind of cool. You know, if we flick through these guys quickly. So we've got our G-Shock orange, very, very bold color there. We've got our Rainbow Toad, uh, sorry, not a Rainbow Toad, our Poison Frog watch, which is uh, a really nice watch. We've got our Frogmans, and we've got our Python watches, so we've got lots of animals today, and we've got a few MTGs. So, certainly some very, very cool watches for you to be able to check out on the Buy website. I'll link them down below, and I hope you have lots of fun hunting around for very unique G-Shocks, and uh, hopefully, I don't have to outbid you on the site. Thank you so much for joining. Goodbye.